Hi, this is Toby from AbletonDrama.com. This video is really interesting for people using Ableton Live with the SPDSX and using the SPDSX as an external sound card. So if you're sending audio out from Ableton Live, you obviously want to send out a stereo channel going to the front of house, going out of the masters out from your SPDSX. So you get a stereo channel for the front of house if you're running multi-tracks or backing tracks, for example. So the problem here is you don't get a third track, a click track or a count in track, for example, which are, is routed to your headphones only. So this video shows you a little hack how you can solve this so you will get a third track, a click track, which will be sent to your headphones only. <laughs> You can send MIDI from a MIDI clip, from a MIDI track inside Ableton Live to the SPDSX, triggering a sound, triggering a sample on the SPD, SPDSX. So this way you would even get a visual feedback here. So let me show you how you can set this up quickly. There will be a longer description on how to do this in a blog post I wrote about this. Just go into the video description and uh, follow the link there to find out more about the setup. This is just a quick run through. Okay, so we are using a MIDI track in Ableton Live. We just create a MIDI clip here and um, we send this MIDI from this track to the SPDSX. We need to set this to channel 10. This is the default channel for MIDI receiving on the SPDSX. So now we just um, use the MIDI clip here and we put in quarter notes on the C3. Let's put those in here and ah, uh, what's happening here? Yes, I got it now. Okay, so Usually uh, you want a different sound on the one, but maybe just um, put the two, the three and the four quieter. So you're using only one slot, one pad of your SPDSX now. So on the SPDSX, we need to um, set up a pad. So for example, I used this shoulder pad up here, pad one. If we go into the menu, where's the button? Menu, it's here. We go to the pad enter and you can see here I applied the cowbell which is sitting per default on number 64 of the internal sounds of your SPDSX. So uh, we can go now into the menu again for the kit and we need to make sure that this pad is only being routed to or this kit this whole kit is only being routed to your phones so uh, to your headphones so this means if you're playing this pad now it's only going to your headphones great okay so let's exit this and if i start ableton live now and this clip here you can see this pad is receiving this midi note coming from ableton live and triggering the cowbell here going to your headphones old headphones out only so obviously the um, external out from Ableton Live needs to be set to your SPDSX as an external sound card. And on the SPDSX, you need to set the audio, the USB audio in going, being routed to the front of house, which means your master out, and to your headphones as well. So this way, on your headphones, you now got this click track coming from Ableton Live and you can edit this really nice volume. You can even create yourself count ins here um, or maybe some uh, just some notes where uh, something is happening. So this is really flexible and this way you have a click track which is not going to the front of house or you're not limited to those two outs anymore. You can send a stereo out from Ableton Live to the front of house. Okay, so as I said before, there is a blog post about this setup where it is explained a bit more in detail. And if you're new to this whole subject or if you wanna find out more about what you can do with your SPDSX and Ableton Live, I created an online course. You can check this out. There is a link in the video description here as well. Okay, cool. I hope this will give a lot of people a lot more possibilities to send out a stereo signal 
when you are playing to the front of house. Cool. Take care and uh, check out my stuff. Cheers.